let's go to Montana and start a new life. I'm not going with you. So we're buying this house. No, look, it's got a broom on the wall. I didn't think choosing a jet would be so difficult. It doesn't look bad. It looks awful. It does? <laughs> it's awful. I think we should buy 10 cows I think and a farmer. I think we need a farmer. Bet you guys didn't think you'd be getting this content, did you? <laughs> oh my goodness me. So guys, you've seen all of the mansions that we show you in Beverly Hills and they're outrageously expensive. I'm going to look at what's it going to take to build my dream life in Montana. You ready for this? Let's look online. Let's find what the cheapest available mansion is in Beverly Hills. Okay. And whatever that is, let's use that as the, the starting point. Of, that's the budget. Okay. What do we get in Montana for that? All right. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan? Before we do, uh -huh. just to top up that budget a little bit more for you. Let's take a minute to talk about today's sponsor. You're gonna do a sales pitch. I love it when he does his sales pitch. Today's sponsor is the producer Michael Boutique. No way. <laughs> Ta-da. Today, I would like to bring to your attention this. This is a brand called Davis Elvin, and Davis Elvin are a very affordable luxury watch. I am shocked for the price point yes. at how well made these are. It's a Swiss movement. When you turn the hands, when you wind it, it feels so smooth. If you are looking for this type of look from a watch and you want something that's well made. Without they're... spending $7,412 million. Exactly, yeah. It's clean looking, it's fun, keeps great time. If you want to go over to the Producer Michael Boutique, then you can check out watches like this Davis Elvin. And they have tons of different colorways and designs as well. If you've seen any of our recent content, you'll know that we're really pushing to bring awesome new boutique brands, micro brands to the website, people that you may not have heard of, but who are quality Michael approved brands. And, and we want to support well. these micro brands because yeah. they're putting a tremendous amount of effort into making fabulous watches. They don't have the budgets that these mega brands have, yeah. but yet they're really working to provide fantastic value. So uh, yeah, we support them. But also if you do want to buy an AP or a Patek or a Rolex, you can buy those as well. We have them too. You're good. So thank you very much. Uh, we also have shirts, fragrances, all kinds of other things. Hats. And that's it, hats, not, not this, this one. one. <laughs> and that is the end of my sales pitch. First and foremost, yeah. what is the definition of a mansion? So the definition of a mansion, I looked this up earlier, is a house that is at least 5,000 square feet and that has between five and six bedrooms. So here is a list of all of the mansions right now. Mansions being houses between, I've put 5,000 to 6,000 square feet in Beverly Hills, sorted in reverse price order. So starting with the cheapest, which is sold actually. And sorry. that's a teardown. So sorry. So let's yeah. not go for that one. And the one next to it here. Not even real. So let's go with this one. It's a foreclosure. Perfect. Okay. So a foreclosure means that it will actually be selling for less. Substantially less. It means that the bank has repossessed the house because I guess somebody went into default on their loan and they just want to get rid of it and get as much just money back as they can. Five oh. bedrooms, six baths, 5,400 square feet. The architecture is quite cool. I like yeah, the, the shapes and everything. Very, in wow, glass ceilings. Is this not the weirdest little sink you've ever seen? It doesn't go down to the ground. <laughs> it's why it, why doesn't it go to the ground? <laughs> I don't hate it. I wouldn't say that we would go and tour this on the channel. No, I don't think we would either. Five million dollars. Yeah. And it's a foreclosure, so let's use that as a barometer. So now let's go to Montana. Yeah. Okay, 15 best places to live in Montana. Bozeman. Bozeman. Number okay. one. So our filters are gonna be the same thing. So 5,000 square feet to 6,000 square feet. So we're on the same. We're gonna go reverse price order and let's see what we get. So, let's look at this one. Okay. So here we go for $975,000. Yeah, stable. No, no, it's a house. It's not a stable. You mean person. No, look, it's got a broom on the wall. That doesn't and mean- And a paddock. It, that, that, where's the paddock? Show me the paddock. Paddock. Garden. Paddock. Show me the horse. With a, with a drinking fountain. Show me the horse. Well, they took That's... it out for the pictures. <laughs> Okay, I don't think this is a good no. representation so of, of what you get, so let's, let's go out of this okay. one. Has someone shaved a willy into the grass? Oh, you're yeah. disgusting. <laughs> That's the strangest shaped willy I've ever seen. Mm, Deary me. So look, this is nice. I, I don't hate this. No, I don't either. Nice kitchen. Okay. Nice appliances. Yeah. Look at that weird corner sink. Have you ever seen that? No, I haven't. That's odd, with no taps. No taps and 
So, okay, so this house is nice. Okay. So let's buy this house. All right. No, hold on. Hold, hold, your, hold your horses. <laughs> it might be nicer. 1.7 million. 6.1 acres of land. For an extra 100 grand. Okay, actually, this looks very nice. I like this. I you do don't too. need land. This is this, for you. We're building this for you. I don't even know how to operate a lawnmower. Okay, so let's buy this house. You want it? Do you see the ADD? Like this one, this one, this will do, this is it. Okay, so let's buy it. Okay, all okay. right, so we're buying this house. Yes. Let's put $100,000 for furniture. Okay. Mine, I think you need more than 100 grand's worth of furniture in there. Not in Montana, it'll be cheaper. Will it? Yeah. It's by Ferrari. Okay, Bozeman Ferrari. So what do we have here? So we got, uh, nice. Ferrari 488. What is this? A Ferrari limousine? <laughs> let's buy that. Let's, okay. Let's, let's, let's see that. Let's just buy it anyway. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. That yes. is tragic. We're buying that. 100% we're buying that. Let's buy it. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what does the inside look like? That is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen. It's nice. It's not bad, is it? Look at that. It would be the most unreliable limousine ever. Look at that. Imagine the stains inside that Oh, thing. Adam. <laughs> we're not even gonna haggle, we're just gonna buy it now. Oh, yeah. But I can't go to the grocery store in a Ferrari limousine. Yes, you can. So let's also buy this. Okay, let's get that. Yeah? Yeah, why not? You can just pile stuff up behind That's the seats. Nice. The vehicle has an existing warranty. warranty. Can't go wrong. We'll a buy warranty that. warranty from 1995? Okay, 90 grand. Isn't this wild though? The fact that right now we have a huge house, we have a furniture, Ferrari, a furniture, a Ferrari limousine, and we've just bought another vintage Ferrari. I think we need, can we just get one sensible car? Like an SUV of some sort? Yeah, description? let's get a Range Rover. All right, I'm fine with that. Range Rover. Okay, let's buy it, 113,000. Oh, it's got a white interior. That's good for Montana. I don't hate that. Sheep. You put sheep in, <laughs> you won't see the hair. 113,000. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's buy a jet. 100%, why wouldn't you? Controller.com, please. So, is that where you buy jets from? Yes, that's where you buy jets. Yeah, of course you know. But if we want something inexpensive. So, you want a 400? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's 2.4 million. Go though. down, that's a. That's Call an expensive price. one. Call, Call for price. price. Go to ASO.com. There's one. They don't like saying the price yeah, of Hawkins. Okay, get out. Okay, okay. Then go to Learjet. Okay, which one? You can buy a really cheap Lear 25. 25? Yeah. Let's spend $750,000. Under a million? Yeah. You can buy them for 200 grand. Really? Yeah. For one that you'd actually want to fly in? I didn't say that. <laughs> well, this is what we're doing. There you there go. Here you go. Citation. 80? Yeah, that'll be fine. People still use them. They're very safe. Hey, you've got so much money. So let's say you negotiate that down to 600,000 because you can't give these away. Why are we You know the nickname then? for this citation? What? Slotation. I feel like so you want to do a bit such... better than that? Yeah. Okay, then let's I don't wanna, go. I don't want one with brown seats. So you tell me, what do you want to do with this jet? I want to fly, I want to be able to fly from Montana to both coasts right. and Hawaii. Oh, you're not going to be able to do that? With what? Okay. With uh, anything? Yes. So go to uh, Jets again. Go yeah. to Bombardier. 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 Now go to Challenger. Do, about, do Challenger 600. What about those Honda Jets? That won't take you to Hawaii. You'll die in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> a million? Yeah, not, a million. not a bit more than that? No, you get a lot of aeroplanes for a million. Okay. Now this is a real aeroplane. The Learjet 55. That's a beautiful aeroplane. Let's see the inside of it. Okay, we know it has doors. Doors are good. And doors are, doors are good on aeroplanes. That's the pilots. Woof. Don't worry about that. Woof. As long as the people in the back are comfortable. <laughs> Mate, this thing looks oh, look, like... Look, look, it's lovely. <laughs> Scrape in the barrel. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs to refurbish a jet? So the carpet alone, just oh, the yeah. carpet. Probably fifty to sixty thousand dollars because it has to be fireproof. It has to be fireproof. Yeah. The leather all has to be tested. Very expensive. This looks do. like something that Donald this, Trump was rolling around this in. This does like not look bad though, does 40 it? Forty years ago, it doesn't look bad. It looks awful. It does. It, it's awful. Look at it. Okay, let's, it's choose, awful. let's choose another aeroplane. I didn't think choosing a jet would be so difficult. Well, for this budget, a million dollars. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect? There's. Keep going. Here we go. 
That's what I was looking for. How come that didn't come up before? Is it? Is yeah. this one going to look like the inside of an ashtray? No, this will be nice. Okay, yeah. So, there you go. See? Okay. Yeah, so, that's nice. Very comfortable, very capable aeroplane. Okay, done. We're buying it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. All right. So, our Beechcraft is 700. No, we're going to negotiate. So, we're going to buy that for 750. Okay. $2.07 million left. Now we have some parties. <laughs> Seriously, how like, about a boat? So now we have. We buy a boat? Now we okay, but first of all, let's talk about maintenance. This jet, how much in fi for five years? How much is that going to cost? It's about that plane's about eight hundred thousand dollars a year in maintenance. Well, that's not true. Depends how you're going to use it. If you want to hire your pilots to fly you whenever you want to, and you don't have a crew mm -hmm. that you're not paying two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for, yeah, that comes off that. If you want to store it outside on the tie down. Instead of having a hangar, you're going to save yourself 100 grand a year. So let's say 300,000 a year for yeah. three years, uh -huh. right? And, and then throw the aeroplane away after it. Just throw it away. So you've bought it for 750, yeah. and you've spent 900, 900 on it. So you've spent a million five, uh -huh. and throw it away. You sell it for 500 grand. So let's buy a boat. Let's buy a boat. What type of boat should we buy? For a lake? 28 foot ski boat. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Let's go to boats.com. I spend my life looking at boats. Never buy one. I know. High performance, that's what we want. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's fun. <laughs> request price. Oh, request price. 60 grand for this one. <laughs> so, I've always wanted to own like a cigarette boat. Just, really? Just for one you summer. Know, do you know where my cigarette boat is? In the ocean. Yeah, in bottom of the, the <laughs> Gulf of Mexico, yeah. I've always wanted to have like a really obnoxious offshore powerboat, I know. With flames. Okay, let's buy that We're one. We're buying it. Okay, buy it. 60 grand. Do it. 1.1 million. So you can't spend wait, enough money. Wait, wait, wait. So you've got you've got the house, yeah. you've got the furniture, yeah. you've got two Ferraris, yeah. you've got and a, a Range, Range Rover. Rover. Yeah. You've got a jet yeah. and the full operating cost of the jet for three years. Yeah. And now you've got a boat. With flames. With flames. And let's add on 50 grand for maintenance for that. Okay, so minus 50,000. We still got a million, got a million 61. <laughs> we literally cannot spend this money. What about like a country club? Let's join a country club. Okay. An oasis of quality recreation. I'm yeah. moving to Montana. There's the phone number. Okay. Hi Riley, I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking to relocate from Beverly Hills to Montana and uh, I just wondered what the approximate cost was of a membership. Initiation fee is anywhere from, I can give you a ballpark estimate if that's fine with you. Yeah, that's fine. From seven to ten thousand dollars for the initiation fee and then monthly dues are about six to seven hundred dollars a month. So Beverly Hills Country Club, two hundred. Be Bel Air Country Club. Uh, I don't even think 250,000 would do it. And you need, you need so many people to vouch for you and you need someone to die before you can <laughs> even join. And there's a waiting list. So we're still at a million. So we've now got a country club membership. And $600 a month, he said. Okay, so let's say, let's do three years 7, again. 7,000, uh, 20 grand for three years. Okay, minus 20,000. You still got a million dollars. Million okay. 31, right? I think that's a good start. I think let's get you out there and then you yeah. can see, see what you, how you feel and then you can, you know. Cows, we need some cows. How much are cows? How much is how much is a hundred head of cattle? How That'd be expensive. Weekly price range of a 600 to 700 pound feeder steer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a getting very, very good at accent. Feeder steer. Okay. Okay, so right now, bet you guys didn't think you'd be getting this content, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so 1200 bucks. So we've got For a cow. cow. I think we should buy 10 cows I think and a farmer. I think we need a farmer to take care of the cows. We need a milker. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done. I think, I think we're, we're done too. Out. So the moral of the story is, it's cheap to live in, cheaper to live in Montana. Yeah. So if you want a jet, you've got five million bucks. You want a jet, you want a boat, you want two Ferraris, you want a Land Rover, you want a boat, you want the maintenance for that jet, you want the maintenance for the boat. Don't forget you boat. You want, f what? Don't forget to say boat. 
Boat? Yeah. I did say boat. Okay, good, let's check in. What else? I mean, we've, oh, country a membership club. to a country, country club, membership. including three years worth of fees. Well, mate, look, I'm very excited for you to start your new dream life in Montana. Yeah, yeah. Will you come visit? 100%. Yeah. Will you ride a cow? You can fly me out on that jet, no problem. Uh, you done. Got tons of money. Done. Done. So, new life in Montana. What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> and before you sign out, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like. If you get any messages from somebody saying, WhatsApp me, it's not me, yeah. it's a scam. So please, please be very careful with that. There's some terrible people out there. But, uh, oh, look what you've got. And make sure you go to producermichael.com to the luxury boutique of Sir Michael Blakey and uh, go and check out watches like Davis Elvin and the other brands that we have on there, as well as shirts, fragrances, all kinds of other good stuff. And we're in it to win it. See ya.